with Israeli forces confirming Yaha Sinwar's killing. The year-long hunt for the Hamas leader comes to an end. It's a good day for the world. That's what U.S. President Joe Biden has said, who spoke to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on the phone and also congratulated him on Sinbar's death. Biden, as well as his Vice President Kamala Harris, called Sinbar's killing an opportunity to free Israeli hostages held by Hamas and also end the year-long war in Gaza. U.S. State Department spokesperson Matthew Miller said that the country wants to kickstart talks on a proposal to achieve a ceasefire and secure the release of the hostages. According to reports, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has already held separate phone calls with Saudi and Qatari foreign ministers in this regard. Meanwhile, EU Chief Ursula von der Leyen said that the death of Sinbar, it majorly weakens the Palestinian militant group. Yes, indeed. Um, Sinbar was the leader of a terrorist organization, uh, the terrorist organization of Hamas, and um, he was basically the mastermind behind the 7th of October with the killings, the massacres, the rapes, and the kidnapping. So his death is certainly significantly weakening Hamas. French President Emmanuel Macron, as well as Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni, called the killing of Sinvar monumental and said that Sinvar was the primary architect of the terrorist attack on October 7th on Israel. UK's Defence Secretary John Healy, who also held Sinwar responsible for Hamas's attack on Israel, said it triggered the darkest day for the Jewish people since the Second World War and a year of conflict with increasing Palestinian civilian casualties. Meanwhile, there were mixed reactions to Sinwar's killing in Israel. Several people hit the streets with placards that read, the picture of victory is the last hostage and not Sinbar in a coffin.